my god, that's so scary. I know, it's a little bit like, ooh. This is Victoria Park. Full of ordinary people going on ordinary walks, but a couple of times a week, there is a man who puzzles everyone walking past him. He is walking backwards. Backwards. Backwards and maybe he's trying to get younger. Maybe he's trying to like not go into the new year. Rewind. <laughs> That's so funny if he Let's actually does that. Twenty again. <laughs> Me and my friend have been observing him from a distance for a while, and always thought he's just another crazy Londoner. A video of him has gone viral on TikTok with over two million views, but no one knows why he's walking backwards. We always wonder a bit uh, why he walks backwards. Is he trying to reverse time? Is he actually going the right way? And we the wrong way. So one day I decided to walk with him to find out why he does that. So why are you walking backwards? For many different reasons. Can, can be physical, emotional, can be mental, spiritual. The possibility is to step out of habit. Most of the things we do are in habit. We're actually not aware of what we're doing. We're not actually there. Not a criticism, but most people walking through the park aren't actually walking through the park. They're not in their bodies. They're probably not conscious of their feet. I was listening to one psychology podcast where a person was saying exactly what you're saying and they say it about breaking the habit by putting the glasses backwards uh -huh. because then it becomes uh, not comfortable and then you're like so tempted to turn them around but you're just like in that uncomfortableness just staying and like becoming more observant around the surroundings isn't it? Of course changing things to help you know the Kenyan running technique where you put water in your mouth so that you're making sure that you're breathing through your Nose. As your nose prepares and actually it creates nitric oxide to destroy bacteria. My perceptions can be different. If I can let go of uh, perception and judgment, I mean, an example, a stepping more up and down a curb. Now, this is very complex, actually, s stepping forward up a curb, because you have to judge. If you're too low, you're going to trip. If you're too high, you're going to stumble. But if you're going backwards, if you're too low, it doesn't matter, you just lift. If you're too high, you just drop. But what stops people going backwards over a, a curb is fear and belief that they're going to fall over. Yeah. So you're kind so, of fighting your fear by walking backwards. Yeah, so, and so yeah, challenging fear, challenging belief. How often have you been doing it and since what uh, time? About two years. There were a couple of months I didn't do it. I have genetic condition where the collagen fiber of the body is too loose. If I'm too relaxed, my body can dislocate bones and organs. Uh, my body tries to stabilize that. But if I put too much stress on it, I can get contractions and train chain contractions which cause can cause paralysis and I ended up in a wheelchair for six years yeah. trying to manage this condition so I'm very aware of how my body is moving and when you're walking backwards you're using different muscles obviously different parts of your nervous system yeah. and even engaging parts of your brain that you don't normally engage I mean you know if I'm walking backwards and I'm doing this I'm just kind of going on fear and belief yeah. that I have to but if I trust, just walk, walk backwards, I'm opening up those perceptions. And like, because people have asked me, oh, you must have a map of the park, an internal map of the yeah. park to, 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 to be able to go around. But I'm actually doing it to meet the unexpected like this, you know. This, and the, be this surprised. Be surprised because this is the thing. You, you cannot change anything if you're in habit. You cannot it's so change true. Your, you can't change anything if your beliefs don't change. Yeah. One of my teachers, somebody asked her, how do you choose people to carry on your work? She says, I asked them this question. How many times can you die? Basically, it's talking about how much can you drop your habits? How much can you drop your beliefs? So you literally die in the identity that yeah. you have. If you don't drop your identity, you're not a human. There's this, there's this myth, humans are creatures of habit. That's a complete lie. Robots are creatures of habit. Humans. Yeah, you have consciousness to, to have exactly. control over your habits. And, and, and it's not survival of the fittest, it's just survival through adaptability. One simple thing is like walking. Now, most people don't actually walk. 
walking is swinging your legs forward and letting them drop. Most people, they're not even swinging your, the lifting from the hip and the thigh like this. You don't need to do it. And then, then they're dropping the weight into the ground. If you ask them to take a couple of steps and ask them to pick up their front leg, it's difficult. But if you're actually walking, you can actually pick up your front leg and put it anywhere. That's walking. Everything else is falling. So most people are falling forwards. So when they get older or they encounter something unexpected, they yeah. fall over because of momentum. Uh, so you kind of become more in control of your body by doing this exercise. I become more human. The perceptions can change. It's like, am I walking through the park or is the park walking through me? Am I walking as a separate individual or am I walking as a group of humans as one organism am i actually moving with the tree when you're kind of moving forward there's a sense of time because yeah. you have to get somewhere you've got some kind of goal my friend would say walking back forward in the sense you're moving backwards to convention but i'm actually moving forwards because i'm actually going somewhere it's a paradox mm. and my vision is kind of forward but it's not forward it's receiving and this is the habit a lot of Westerners get especially get into is looking out rather than receiving. Also your vision can be much wider, the peripheral vision. And apart from vision as well, you can have like those other uh, senses that you can use if you don't use your visual stuff. So you become yeah. like a superhuman in a way, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> In, in, yeah, well, you become more Well, human. that's what everyone thinks about you here, I think, because it's so unusual. I have never seen anyone walking backwards. That's another thing. There's traditions. Older people in China tend to walk backwards. Oh, wow. But there's also a tradition in uh, indigenous cultures, especially like Native American countries. They ride horses backwards. They're kind of clowns, uh, sacred clowns, and they can be, be shamans also, because what they're doing is... So shamanism and like Tantra are all about breaking down conventional structures, belief systems, yeah. taboos. Yeah, yeah. People think shaman shamanism's a technique. No, it isn't. Tantra is not a te technique. And it's been like kind of confused with like sexuality and sex, all about awareness, being able to be being aware, conscious. Being here now, you know. So how did you find out about this technique of walking backwards? Did you read it in Chinese literature? Um, I read it afterwards. I, I, I think I was just having a conversation with, with a friend and we started just walking backwards spontaneously. And also it's used in uh, a thing called buto, which is a, a Japanese art form and like people will walk backwards in like forests and stuff uh, just to again find out how it is to respond as a human being am i responding or am i reacting one thing that i found it really useful for is grief i've had a lot of people i know die you can get into a emotional loops circle yeah walking backwards when i'm when i'm in grief i mean you know maybe I, I want some space to cry at home but when i come to the park well another thing again kept connecting to nature i've also walked barefoot do you take cold showers i do take cold showers. i take cold showers too <laughs> cold showers can trigger a fight and flight response so that's good to like stimulate the immune system but also when i was walking around barefoot when it was really cold people were saying aren't you really cold and i say I'm less cold. If I had my shoes on, I'd be more cold because what happens is there's like a relationship between me and the earth. And you know, like the relationship between trees and uh, microcilia that, that communicates, there's a communication that happens. We cut ourselves off from that communication. Some indigenous people would say, don't trust people that wear shoes. And everyone wears shoes. They're not connected, yeah. they're not connected to, to the, the earth, earth. So they become two sided. Yeah, two sided. Because they are not true to themselves anymore, yeah, because they're yeah, not yeah. linked to the nature. Interestingly enough, when the North American Indians were given like Levi jeans, they cut the asses out of the Levi jeans so they had bare buttocks to kind of feel the horses mm. when they were sitting on them. Do they do anything else like this um, that you can recommend to people to break like their visions and become more like human well look at kids and look at drunks the thing with children yeah. before they start copying 
is they're exploring. Their movements are not definite, and that's really, really healthy for the system. And if you see an animal move, they will move with their body first and their limbs move later. Humans disconnect from their body. When you're reaching for a coffee, you kind of put your arm out. Mm. You don't reach with your body and put your hand there. So Why is it more healthy to move with the body first than the arms and legs? Because it's connected. It's like if I just stretch my arm out, there's not the connection, there's not the neural pathway. But if I go in first, if I go into my body and then come out of mm. my body... Uh, you like link all the systems, all the you muscles. All so you're using more neurons probably than just like your arm. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Because this is just a mechanical motion. Mm. This is a human motion. Yeah before nervous system develops. So before that, movement's created through fluid. I had a teacher who worked with people who had were completely severed spinal cords that they couldn't move yeah. conventionally, but she managed to get them to move, connecting to fluid movement. And that's what I'm saying with drunks and children, that is the fluid pathway. Mm. Actually, you start taking away what it is to be a human being once you start putting yeah. fat music. So if you look at kids and people that are drunk, they can adapt. Like if they fall on the ground, they can recover quite easily. Also, I really want to say that whenever I'm drunk, because you know, I'm like, my body hurts all the time. I can't like, you know, I can't touch my toes and stuff. I'm really inflexible. Whenever, there have been often times when I've been drunk and I've turned into a ninja. Like I have scaled walls. I've told you my famous story of climbing up a wall and jumping over barbed wire and shit. Oh my God. I jumped from a balcony to another balcony on like a 10th floor and didn't die. So I think that's so true. Now around the pandemic, we're using words like social distancing. It's not social distancing, it's physical distancing. Mm. So why are they using those words? Are they trying to control how we think, how mm. we operate, how we, whether we engage with other people or not? Lockdown is a word that's used when there's a riot happening in a prison. So are we being locked down the prison for the mind yeah exactly yeah. you know kind of walking backwards is creating your own authority stepping out of the norm yeah so you're, yeah, you're, yeah you're giving an example of power and the most powerful thing is how do you perceive yourself and are you judging how you're perceived on other people's opinions mm, but i do think that he's completely correct that we need to break our kind of blocks and startups that we got from the society by doing actions that we are not accustomed to because then you change the way you perceive things and you become more aware of surroundings so not only like walking backwards there are easier things that you can implement in your life by eating with the left hand right hand when you're accustomed to the right hand and i wanted him to like tell all these different suggestions that i kind of had in mind because i did thought about it and i've listened to some psychology podcasts that talked about exactly the same thing but he just like talked about dance uh walking drugs are like a strong tool that you can use in order to break your perception if you use it in the right way because obviously like it's cool to use it for fun but you can use it into something more useful like art the loops of things like depression and you know True. addiction and True. so on because those are just loops and you yeah. need to break out of them by yeah getting out of a habit or so on. It's kind of like constantly thinking, am I acting because that's how I want to act or it's because that's how society told me and taught me to act. By doing these small things that are unusual, we're questioning if, if it's actually truly me or it's the belief that I decided to believe, but maybe it's not true because nothing is true. It's a really subjective concept of truth. And the fact that he was in a wheelchair for years and years, and amazing. And now he's fine. Yeah, and he's walking Which inspires backwards us, in the Which inspires us to do the changes and implementing these things. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna do walking backwards, <laughs> yeah. unless I'm in a park and I'll see him, why not, to join them. But for me, it's not a new information, but for some people, it will be a really interesting thing to hear and to do, you know? <laughs> it's for school? No, what is this? Wait, why are we doing it so? Like, university for